Lick 15, Barrel House, is inspired by the playing of Barrel House blues piano players. But a very similar lick also shows up in William Brown's classic fingerstyle blues tune, Mississippi Blues. So let's check this one out. One, two, three, four. This lick is in A, so we're keeping the bass going on the open fifth string. And it's built around this chord move. And what we've got is basically, this is an A ninth chord. We've got the third, the seventh, and the ninth of A here with the index on the sixth fret of the third string the pinky on the eighth fret of the second string and the ring finger on the seventh fret of the high string. It's a funny shape to grab at first, but with a little practice, it can be done. And so you might want to just practice the first two beats of the first measure, which is thumb and then on the and, picking the third string with the index finger. And then on beat two, you're going to pinch thumb and the top two strings picking with your middle and your ring finger, and then back to the index finger on the third string. So just that move right there will help you get used to grabbing this chord voicing. And then from there on beat three, we're gonna shift down and get a little bar here, index finger going across the top two strings at the fifth fret, and the pinky at the seventh fret of the second string, and you're gonna pinch here on beat three, and on the and of three, you're gonna take your pinky off and play just the bar with your fingers on the top two strings. And then on beat four, you hit just the bass, and on the end of four, you get down the index finger on the sixth string, because you're getting ready to come back into this chord shape. So, measure one, Now you're getting ready to do it all over again in a different place rhythmically in measure two. Because in measure two, we start off with the pinch and then the index finger and then the, this pinch on beat two. Beat three is just the bass. And then beat four, you're going to come down here and grab the third fret on the, low, on the fifth string on the downbeat hammer on to the fourth fret, and then grab the index finger, second fret on the third string. So that's a little triplet figure on beat four. Four and a. Uh. And that's something you might want to practice on its own too, just, or even the bass on three, and then. Because the other detail about this is that you're palm muting the whole time. And then when you get to here, you want to lift up and not palm mute so that bass note will really ring out with the hammer on. So three, four, and uh. So you could practice just that going back and forth between the palm mute and not the palm mute. But the important thing is to realize that it's really the same lick twice, just in a different place rhythmically the second time. So here is what the whole thing sounds like. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 